Uh, hello, I'm Kyle Nieva, director and producer of Kids on Fire. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch my dad design backgrounds for animation. I was really amazed by how he was able to create places or worlds wherein these characters would move around. Uh, because of that, uh, I thought I wanted to, to be an architect. But little did I know I would uh, take up a degree in film. Uh, Kids on Fire is an apocalyptic uh, coming-of-age dark comedy about a boy who joins a religious camp and discovers his special role in the second coming of Jesus Christ. Uh, the story was mainly inspired by my childhood uh, memories. I wrote Kids on Fire in 2017, and that same year, a series of earthquakes actually hit the country. Some people would attribute such catastrophes to the apocalypse or to retribution for our sin. So I was then reminded of the signs of the end times, which I learned from Sunday school as a kid. So the Bible includes earthquakes along with uh, wars, famines, and epidemics. And so these events were, we are no longer strangers to. As a kid, this whole doomsday prophecy not, not only fascinated me, but also horrified me for a long time. Uh, yes, just like the character in the film, I went to some religious camps when I was younger. Uh, most of it was fun, but there was this one camp that was too bizarre for me. Uh, the experience of my character in the film pales in comparison with mine. Kids on Fire is more than just about sexual awakening, as some people would think. Kids on Fire reflects on how some of our people profess and practice their faith, which I saw with my own eyes and constantly question. Um, I think one is we are a very religious nation, so we are a bit averse to speaking about or discussing these things that seem to be quote-unquote immoral. Also, our schools, I think, are still highly influenced by uh, religious institutions that disagree uh, with the practice of teaching sex education. I only got a proper sex education in college, and it wasn't even a compulsory course. Uh, it's really sad that uh, discussing sex is still a taboo. We have high uh, uh, cases of um, HIV and teenage pregnancy in the Philippines. Uh, keeping it a taboo only worsens uh, sexual ignorance. It pushes our children to actually find answers in their own ways. Uh, the role of religion in the world is indispensable. I think it creates an ethical framework for us as a society. It also gives us answers to existential questions that are fundamental to the human experience. I'm not against uh, religious groups. I think they're essential to a vibrant democratic country like the Philippines. I just have reservations about institutionalized form of religion that promotes oppression, discrimination, idolatry. Mystica did really well in this film. I think she is perfect for the role. Her role is this quirky Bible camp leader named uh, Sister Evan. Uh, I was even surprised to know that she actually runs her own uh, channel on YouTube where she used to post videos of herself preaching about her faith and that her uh, varied career included a stint as a preacher. I think with what's happening in the world, it's all the more important to watch films. I uh, don't feel guilty if you're watching this to escape. It's okay. Uh, movies have helped a lot of people cope with the pandemic. I think watching is a great way to keep us mentally healthy. So watch the cinema life films and videos. Don't be too hard on yourselves. Be a filmmaker at your own pace. It's a really 
dark world right now, it's okay to just live your lives. There's so much to experience or learn about this world. Use all of those to make films eventually. Uh, being able to make films is a real privilege. You are very lucky to be thinking about making films, so put this privilege to good use.